Welcome to Tour Truck Tuesday. I have an eight degree and a nine degree. I've even gone out and fit myself into this eight and you've seen some ripper numbers with it. You really have. And I'm getting some right here right now, especially into breeze. It's easy to hit bombs with this. That flight. I mean, that is good. So why are you doing the video? If that's good, what well, you stood here talking to us about the options today. Launch 9.3, 2500. Not my best strike, 165 ball speed. I know I've got more in the tank than that. Not the reason why I'm here today to talk to you about this. That driver there even went into a what's in the bag video that I did for you on YouTube that I know you've all seen. However, testing it, it's 46 inches, it's counterbalance, it's a power machine, it really is. But, it can get squirrely. Even that flight was squirrely. Spinny, a good covered golf ball, covered because we're into wind. So I mean that I'm over it and I'm covering it. It's gone 2,500. So this video is about a call out when you go into your fittings. I wanted to push boundaries, max out. 46 inches, no loft. Give me some energy transfer, all about it. But I'm here two weeks later and I'm missing fairways. TaylorMade do a feature called Try Before You Buy, the My TaylorMade Plus app. It's a subscription model, but if you get it, you can get a club, not be charged for it, and in two weeks, if it's not working for you, you can send it back. I would be exercising that routine now. Look at what I've got going on here. I've got new wedges, I've got three irons, I've got stealths, I've got UDIs, I've got hybrids, seven woods, I'm trying it all. I'd be all over that, even as a fitter, because you don't always get it bang on. Now, why have you gone for more loft? Simply because I want to live with a hair more spin on the golf course. And I don't like hitting my pure ones and seeing them knuckle that way. How have you come to that conclusion? Because as I keep pressing to you, I'm honest with myself when it comes to my own golf game. And it only takes one or two games that you play and your pals hit it better than you. And you give yourself an honest assessment and you realize you've pushed it too far. Yeah, it's great, long drive comp or maximizing out, but I'm not Bryson DeChambeau. To play at that length with that little loft really shows you how great these players are. So it's important, and the lesson for you guys watching here, it's important that you find the middle ground. When you look down, you can see a bit of loft if that's what you want, and you're able to control that ball flight. So you can hit ones like that that even when it's topping out the blade like that, it's still gonna bound forward, carry a bit of spin, and it's gonna give you a number that's very controllable. So that one is just over 2,000. Now, a shot that's high out the blade with the eight degree is going to be dropping at 18, 1,900, and we're talking spin rates here. So if you can hit balls that maintain a spin rate, even on a miss hit or on a draw, then you're gonna have a driver that's very playable. Playable drivers mean you hit fairways, fairways mean you hit greens, hitting greens means you shoot good scores. So that's the lesson here in a nutshell. Push the limit, I'm all for it. Go longer, I'm all for it. Play heavy swing weights. Understand there's a try before you buy section on the My Taylor Made Plus page, link in the description. Check that out and then you can start having some fun and actually doing what I'm doing, which is just practicing hitting balls, but you can take your testing to the golf course. No better haven than the golf course because it's easy then to really dial yourself in. One more for you, into breeze. That's a bomb. And then you can get that flight, which actually on a day like today, visually, is a hair stally, but it's 2,200 spin. I mean, it's money. Again, into breeze like this, if you're a good player, you're gonna control the flight, aren't you? It's very difficult when you're fitting, call out for the fitters. Daylight today, you get a good player in front of you, it's very difficult to ask them to launch one for you at 15 degrees. So test that driver every single different day, which way possible, golf course range, left to right, right to left, down breeze, into breeze, high tee, low tee, that target, this target, before you make your judgment call. And if you're in a fitting and you're like, okay, what do I do in my fitting? Move to targets. 
I'm going to hit a fade, I'm going to hit a draw, I'm going to hit low, I'm going to hit high. Mix it up because you've only got that fitting to get it right and it can easily be gotten wrong. And if you're someone who struggles with accuracy, hair, air on the high side of spin. And if you think you can get away with it or if you're hitting it really good that day, just give yourself a pinch moment. Do I always hit it this good? Are my club delivery numbers this consistent? Because you can push yourself a little too far as I've just demonstrated. Loft is key. It's the only thing that strikes the ball. Make sure you get it right because it'll impact that spin rate and impact that ball flight. If this is helping you and you like what you're seeing, subscribe, tell your buddies, let's get on this. Plenty more advice to come. Hit the link below if you want to check out the My TaylorMade Plus. I'm going to put that in there and also a fitting through TaylorMade. All those links are in that description below. Any questions you've got, fire them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Hopefully this helps you. Good luck with it. Enjoy your tour truck Tuesday and hopefully I can bring you some more like this in the future. Oh,